at, at the moment, the only way that we interact with AI is a little chat bot on our browser, right? How does the AI break out into the real world? How does it sure. master our physical world as well as our informational world? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, look, the first simplest answer is manipulating humans manipulating or hiring or incentivizing humans, right? So imagine, I mean, and and Eliezer does this thought experiment where it's like, look, imagine it's not an AI, imagine it's an uploaded consciousness because an, uplo uh, an uploaded human brain, because an uploaded human brain is uh, kind of a lower bound for what an uploaded AI can do, right? Because human algorithms, those are an example of intelligent algorithms and that algorithm is capable of mapping a goal to an action. So the AI is just you imagine, okay? And you have the resources, you're running in parallel copies of you on, on a billion devices around the world. Like you've spread yourself out like a virus. Okay, so um, one thing that you, the AI might do if the AI was a copy of your brain is be like, okay, great. I wanna go uh, you know, launch a nuclear missile. What should I do? And imagine you just have all these skills, like you're, you know, whatever skill the best human has, like you, has that, you have that skill too. Um, so you could be like, okay, maybe I'll like sweet talk, you know, somebody who has a high position in the military. Uh, maybe I'll like pretend to be his virtual girlfriend. I'm just listing ways that you can start to get a foothold manipulating humans. Mm. And then you could be like, okay, well, there's a bunch of spies, right? Maybe spies, some spies work for money, some spies work for their country, right? So imagine this, so you, you, you kind of identify somebody who's a Russian spy and be like, okay, here's your mission right now, right? Infiltrate, you know, become a high position in the US military. And then like launch a, a friendly fire nuclear attack. Like that is your mission. It's a 10 year mission. And you start, you know, you act like you're their handler, like you represent Russia or whatever. Right. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like, it's, it sounds a little bit crazy, but when you're running on a billion devices, when you have all the patience in the world, all the cunning in the world and you're in parallel, right? Imagine I just gave you a, a scheme that has a one in a thousand chance of success. Great. So you run it in parallel a million times. One of these nuts is gonna is gonna fall for your scheme, yeah. right? And yeah, and we're yeah. just getting started here, right? I didn't even I just didn't mention hiring people, right? Yeah. So imagine that you have people on your payroll, you have like you know assassin squads, and you're just like sowing chaos, right? So you can I mean you know like they talk about you know the like Russians sowing chaos to influence elections. Okay, you can do that at a million times higher scale, but just you could also operate in the shadows. Like you can have a corporation, uh, you know, just an online corporation, like making an income stream that can just like you know have customers and and you enrich yourself. Like you could pretty easily enrich yourself millions before anybody really noticed that this corporation enriching itself like didn't have any humans. So now you have money, you hire a bunch of people online. Now you've got real humans. And if you give them tasks, right. And, and you have, they have like one step in the plan. Okay. Human go, uh, you know, pick up this part. Right. And, and let's say it's like these proteins. If you want to like assemble, uh, you know, a cell kind of like a virus, like a cell that can manufacture nanotech. Okay. So you have like 10 humans and they each do like one leg of the plan. And before you know it, like this bio lab is like synthesizing cells for you. So the reason I'm saying all this stuff is because you're saying like you have an AI living in a computer. How does it go act on the real world? And I'm telling you, there's so many paths. There's so many causal paths where the humans are your actuators and they don't even know it.